All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. Let's go and check it out, guys. Um, it's coming from our bow of the fifth column. The name of the video is uh, Let's Talk About 4th of July Trivia. I like trivia, guys. Let's check it out. Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today is definitely going to be a little bit different. Today we're okay. going to just do the video prompted by a message and then read the message afterward. Uh, the video itself is going to be a, uh, a 4th of July special. We're going to talk about eight figures that were very important to the founding of this country. And okay. I'm basically just going to go through and name the figure and talk about the thing they're best known for. And then I'll give you one piece of trivia that ties them all together. And then I'll give you a couple other things to look up on your own if you wanted to later. All right, let's get it. Okay, so the first one, Alexander Hamilton. Okay. Actually incredibly important to the founding of this country. Extremely. But realistically best known for a musical. You have uh, oh, Pierre. I hate the fact that his whole life has just been like boiled down to, to Hamilton, the play. Um musical right um but yeah basically unfortunately like in our modern contemporary times uh hamilton is a really good play or charles lenfant i'm sure i mispronounced that uh this is the uh, the guy who um i think he wrote the plans to build uh uh washington dc you have uh pierre charles lenfant i'm sure i mispronounced that the architect it's fine. of dc dc would not look like dc without him right you have frederick von steuben who was instrumental in turning the fledgling american military into a uh, into something a little bit more modern by the right. standards of the day of course you have lafayette um let's add on to that really quickly uh he also uh, expired in a town uh named after him like his own town it's it's, it's uh, upstate new york uh, i think it's north of utica um, Steuben, New York. That's where he's buried. Also very important militarily. You have Charles Adams, who was important in his relationship to Steuben, but probably best known for being the son of John Adams. Uh, and um, he was uh, he was a treasurer of, um, of Harvard in the late 1800s. Um, you have John Lorenz who mm -hmm. was probably best known for recruiting slaves into the war effort. The Union Army. Yeah. Uh, you have James Buchanan, who probably best known for being the first bachelor president. Uh, Is that what you're going to call it? All right. Uh, and then you have Thomas Morton. I mean, listen, there were a lot, there were a lot of... Uh, yeah, was he a bachelor? I think, uh, you know, uh, from the outside looking in, sure. But I'm almost positive there was a lot going on. There was a lot more going on with, with him very specifically than uh, him just being a bachelor. Who is certainly best known for challenging the social beliefs of his contemporaries. Okay, so what do these eight... In the same vein kind of as, uh, as Buchanan, though, guys. Men have in common. They were all uh, confirmed or rumored by their contemporaries. To oh, okay, I get to it. To be part of the LGBTQ community. Well, the community didn't exist then, but, um, but yeah, yeah. I didn't see where he was going with this, but until we got to the last two, I was like, okay, I see what's happening here. And while we're on this topic, if this is something that interests you, you might want to look into how Jamestown, that really important colony. Uh, mm -hmm. how their households were structured. Jamestown is a very interesting place. Uh, very interesting place for, uh, you know, the, the founding of this country, at least. Uh, Jamestown, Virginia. Um, I think what he's referring to here is that, um, like, like same things. How do you say this? How do you say this without getting uh, uh, your video limited, guys? Um, people that are one thing and... The other, the other party is also the same exact thing as them, basically. Uh, they came together pretty often in this area um, to the point where, like, so often, it was so prevalent that um, Jamestown very specifically created, like, the anti-sodomy laws in, like, the early 1600s, maybe 16, 
seven, maybe sixteen ten, somewhere somewhere there, guys. Right? Um, so all right. At times. And you may want to find out why log cabin Republicans are called log cabin Republicans. Now let's read the message. Log cabin Republicans, um, they're basically like a uh, like a political pact, right? Um they basically funnel money to politicians that support their desires, let's say. Because um, I have no idea why they're called that when – I have no – that does bro, I have no idea why they're called that. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure one of you guys can help me out in the comments, figure that one out. Um, but, yeah, they basically funny fun, – funny. They funnel money to politicians that support whatever they are, you know, uh, pushing. But they, they almost exclusively push uh, gay rights, exclusively. Hey, you did a lot. But guys, if we're trying to get money out of politics, guys, all of these things need to be abolished, guys. Right? All of these packs um, for for any type of whim or desire or, or anything, whatever you're, whatever you are very specifically attempting to push, um, I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to come up with a, a better way to do it, guys. Um, all of these political packs are are almost like inherently toxic, guys. Um, I understand, you know, fight for your rights, sure, do you think, right? But um, we need to find another way to do it because if you allow one group to do it, another group's going to do it. And so, you know. Fought for pride, and I tolerated it. <laughs> for what? fourth of cabin, Republicans. Now let's read the message. Hey, you did a lot for pride, and I tolerated it. <laughs> for fourth of July, could you just do a video celebrating America or American history? It would be great. To not hear gay stuff, not his term, uh, today. How about you just pay homage to the men who gave you the freedom of the speech you abuse daily? Abuse? You're abusing freedom of speech by talking? Granted. That's wild. Happy Fourth of <laughs> July. Like, how do you have haters watching you? That's crazy, bro. I mean, I guess the haters have to watch. I mean, it's, what else are they doing? They're just, they're just being haters. The haters have to watch, bro. Come on, right? Um, so listen, this is the third video I've seen from him. I like him a lot. No doubt here, guys. Um, I think he delivers his points very well. Uh, this is probably the best recorded, and, um, and the, the audio is definitely uh, pretty much improved drastically now, guys. Um, he seems to be using some of a shotgun microphone. I love the idea of that, guys. It's... it's I love the idea. It works, guys. Uh, this overall video video here is great. I mean, I love the concept of talking about like uh, like random like historical things. You know, uh, I am absolutely uh, infatuated with history. So more of these, guys. Absolutely. Uh, listen, now let me know in the comments on the next thing from him that I should be checking out, um, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right, and listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.